Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another installment of Another Farm Roguelike. It is great to be here. I hope you're having a fine day so far, folks. So this is our cook run on Ultimate Difficulty. We're going into week 7 here, so let's get started. And while we're getting started here, folks, if you are enjoying the playthrough series, please consider becoming a subscriber. If you like this game, I've got plenty of content of this game on the channel. Let's check it out. It's on a nice, neat little playlist. Really, ultimately, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. Now let's rock and roll. So week seven here, we have big tax in effect. So minus $2 for each item sold. It's going to take off the uh, the bottom line just a little bit. Of course, we have upgrade day, buried treasure, tough touch, rain, the feared and ominous rat plague, of course. And then payment day where, you know, we owe 450 k No big deal. Our income is sitting good. We're sitting pretty. I'm feeling good about the run, but let's see how much cash money we can make. So that's kind of the first course of action here. Got a nice little white beet harvest. And we are short on kale, so we're going to have to get some kale rolling as well. So let's start by, of course, harvesting all of these fine products that we have. As they rain down from the sky. And look at that. It takes a while to kind of sort into their respective piles. But that is okay here, folks. That is okay. That is all the good stuff that makes us all the good cash money. So obviously, let's just kind of start by digging a little bit. Like I said, we are short on kale. We have some growing, but I want even more because we need that sweet truffle soup. So first course of action here. Find kale seeds. Let's go. So let's roll this. Obviously, grab coal and then kale. Coal. Kale. More kale. Just keep grabbing kale until we have a nice little stockpile of it. I'm going to get some fertilizer on it. going to let that thing grow into a nice plant that we can use for a variety of other things. Kale is kind of an underappreciated, underrated, kind of often overlooked product here on this farm that is pretty vital, pretty essential. So it's worth re-rolling a little bit to get some, for sure. Alright, so we have some kale seeds in hand. 24 to be exact. So why don't we go ahead and put that nice kale in some of the open spaces we have. And then let's backfill with, I mean, we could go wheat, although wheat is plentiful, bountiful. Could probably do some, let's see... Radish, yeah, why don't we get some radish down? That'll be fine. We have plenty of field space available. Of course, we went kind of big time on uh, field space, right? Dedicated a lot of our island to fields, and it's been working for us. Just look at the bankroll. Cauliflower seed, carrot seed. Yeah, we can grab some more carrots, too. Of course, let's get some more carrots. Our chickens will be happy about that. Let's go with some white beet for sugar. Got plenty of those seeds. Looking good. A few more cauliflower. Sure thing, why not? We have the freedom of variety here, folks. Growing a nice, diverse blend of crops here. So let's get the fertilizer in place here. Should about have enough to just get the whole field fertilized. Alright, looking good for that portion. Now, here comes the rectangular portion. This is where we try to do a little mini game out of this, although I'm kind of off the path already, but we'll try it. Here we go. Let's get the mini game. The game within the game here, folks. All right, so we didn't get everything fertilized. That's okay. Not a big deal at all. The only crop we're really truly hurting for is the kale. Everything else is in pretty high standing. So let's get it all watered up here. Alright, lovely. And then I'm going to put the kale here in the seed maker, of course. 
Let's get our wheat in our little windmills here while I'm thinking about it. Got a lot of windmills here. Added a lot in the last episode. That'll keep the flour production high. It'll keep it kind of a little more even with the sugar, right? All right, so what do we have for as far as other seeds go? I mean, frankly, it'd be great to have more kale on hand to just make some more kale seeds, but we don't have that. Let's go with the wheat. Why not? Another very important crop. Our pig friends here, let's get them fed. Here you go, pigs. Some radishes. I heard you like pumpkins too. Come and get some. And potatoes. Got a nice crop of potatoes coming up here. I'm sure that'll make them happy. All right, looking good there. For our cow friends here. Let's get them fed. Of course, don't have kale, but that's okay. It is not a deal breaker at all. It's, it's not a game breaker at all, right? It's fine. We can go without some excess milk for a while. Not a big deal. Not worried about it at all. In fact, I'm worried about very little in this game. The rat plague does make me a little scared, though. Radishes. Yeah, that, that truffle soup, folks, is, is very much the key to our success. Or it's the key to getting to a new income level that has not been reached on this channel. So I'm going to get that kale soup and I want to just... Not kale soup, sorry, truffle soup. I want to get that truffle soup that requires the kale to make, that is... And I, I want to just take this thing into orbit. Let's see how far we can go. Alright. Chickens and their eggs, of course. And the radish. Alright, thank you, cow friend. Are these jars or are they... Yeah, milk. I mean, look, look at this. Milk. We have 1,800 units of milk. I think it's safe to say that we're doing pretty good on the milk. My goodness. I don't even need to really milk my cows until we start eating into this power stack. Although, you can sell just the milk as well, right? Alright, looking good. Pigs fed. Chickens and cows fed. At least as much as we can. So let's take care of the mining duties here. I actually don't need this stone. I really don't. So for the sake of brevity, I'm just going to target the coal nodes. The stone gives us some uh, trace resources, of course, but, I mean, we don't really need to do that. My furnace capacity will be used on... Sugar, mostly. Because we're making donuts here, folks. We're not the miner, we are the cook, and we are making some donuts. Pink donuts, to be exact. We're also chipping in with some fried eggs, right? A culinary delight. Of course. But that's how we're doing. I don't need to mine all of this stone. I just don't need to. Okay, we can keep that one as gold. Sure. And we'll also turn this one to gold. Everything else, stone. Stone gives you coal, of course. So we're just going to ride that wave. Why not? All right, let's sell some excess things that we just simply don't need and don't plan on processing. Of course, that's these uh, gemstones here. And then let's take a look at the furnace. So what do we have? 1,287 sugar, 412 for the flour. Okay. So there's obviously a pretty big deficit there. That's all right. First thing that we get, though, is, of course, well, let me dig up our minefields here. First, let's strip the land of all grass.
All right, lovely. And then let's Shia LaBeouf this to victory. All right, more sand equals more money. So let's go ahead and get our sand in the furnaces. It just makes sense. That's what we're doing here. We're moving with intention in this one for sure. Let's see how much cash we can make in a quick fashion, right? All right, looking good. Uh, earthworms, get them sold. Grass. Baked sardine. Not even sure how I got that, but we'll sell it. And then what else do we have here? So we have some iron, we have some gold. So iron and gold, and then the sugar production is great. In fact, it's three times the amount of the flour. So we actually can use this time and capacity in the furnace to simply smelt down some of these ores. All right, looking good there in the gold. 31. All right, perfect. And then the rest, you guessed it. We're going to do the white beets. Get some sugar. All right, fantastic. Looking good there. All right, fields are watered up. Furnaces are full. We've got some seeds rolling. Let's check the black market here. Pure strength, swift hammer. Not interested in that. Okay, so let's start our crafting. And usually we kick it off with a little bit of truffle soup, but as you see, we need the kale there. So that is not an option. But that's okay. We can convert all of our cheese into cheese soup. By far our power product, right? How effective has cheese soup been? I mean, it's been amazing. And we have a beautiful sack of probably around 2,500, 2,450 ish after this is done crafting. And we're literally sitting on about a million dollars, 2,450 on the nose there. We're sitting on a million dollars with just cheese soup. So that's kind of crazy. Not to mention, we've been building up a power stack of fried eggs as well. So looking forward to getting this sold too, because this is going to be a mighty amount of income as well. For a simple egg, you know, heated for a little bit. Must be a really, really, really good egg. I don't know what kind of restaurant operation we're running here, right? But we are fleecing our customers. Just fleecing them. So likewise with the fried egg and the cheese soup, we are converting all of our raw materials into sellable products here. Lucrative sellable products, that is. I guess let's go with a few more jars as well. Not that we actually need the milk. Let's get it down to about 950. That eh, looks about good there. All right, now let's check some pricing. Everything's fair game to sell in this bottom row here. Well, this bottom row, I should say. So let's check some pricing. Iron bar, yes, yeah, selling great. Copper bar, selling great. Diamond bar, leaves some to be desired. Gold bar, no. Donut, no. Cheese soup, 690 of 700. I mean, we're leaving money on the table with that $10 deficit from the high end. So let's just sit on it. The goal is making money. The bills are already paid. Fried egg also leaves a lot to be desired. So we're looking good there. So pricing has been checked. Animals fed, cheese press is populated, fields watered, seed machines activated, windmills in operation, the mining has been done, pigs are happy. Good time to end the turn right there. All right, day two dons, and we get an upgrade here. So what do we have? We have triple upgrade, beetroot, cabbage, and carrot. We are only growing carrots out of that bunch. Headhunter, 10k for each quest completed. 
I don't really like completing quests, if I'm being honest. Versatile. Allows you to craft everything. Gives you two grand. I'm going to re-roll this. I mean, versatile would have been great in, like, week one, right? But it's pretty useless now. Honey lover. We dismantled our honey operation last week. Sneaky fishing. Each time you catch a fish, you throw another rod. Spooky water. When catching a fish, 50% for an alchemy item. Man, I don't like any of this. Guess I should have gone with versatile. Got that free two grand. I guess let's go sneaky fishing. I mean, we don't really fish too much. Our place is in the kitchen. So let's get the crop harvest. Let's get the furnace and cheese machine harvest as well. And let's just check it out here quick. How much flour do we actually get? So we're getting about 400 units per turn. 415 or so units per turn. So obviously our sugar is well outpacing our flour. It's just kind of the way it is. We would have to add more windmills, of course. Don't have a ton of space for them, although... Maybe I can sacrifice some of the sand land. That's right. Say that ten times fast. Maybe I can sacrifice some of the sand land for some more windmills. Looks like we can get what? 50 wood. Yikes. So we can get three more windmills. Yeah, well, why don't we do it? It's just a little bit of land for, of course, more flour. Don't believe I can build on the dug up spots. And even if I can, it doesn't really matter. I think this is fine. This is going to help us along with our flower production, which is a lagging material for sure. So let's get some fields dug up here. And did we manage to get any kale that turn? That is my question. Yeah, 114 units of kale. Lovely. So what I'm going to do is get those in the seed maker right away. Need more kale seeds. Even though the, the coming rat plague might uh, exterminate some of our crop. Well, I mean, it surely will. Alright, let's continue the digging efforts. Just bag that glorious sin. Okay, looking good. Let's get the coal mined up here. I don't understand why this keeps getting changed to gemstones. Gemstones are just of no use to me. In fact, they're more of a burden than, than anything, truthfully. Can't say that's never happened before, though, because it definitely has. Alright, coal. bunch of coal down here. Wow. That is a lot of coal. Plus another large node right up there with our pigs. Very nice. Alright. And let's tear up the land again in standard fashion. Looking to get some more sand, of course. Alright, looking good. So let's sell a lot of this junk. That comes as a byproduct of mining and digging. We've already got a white beat in the furnace somehow. Not quite sure how that happened. But we can, of course, get that in order in just a little bit here. First, let's get some seeds planted, of course. And what am I doing? Well, I'm still looking for kale seeds here. Let's get more kale than we even know what to do with.
Limitless truffle soup is what we're looking for here. Especially since our glass is kind of back in, in order, right? We have a bunch of glass now. Of course, a few weeks ago, we didn't have the ability to dig up sand, so therefore, we could not make glass. That was a troubling week, but we, we made it through. Got carried by a nice big sale of a cheese soup that we were kind of holding on to, and then donuts and fried eggs led the way. Let's get some pumpkins down here. Why not? And how about some wheat? If we're adding more windmills, we might as well plant some more wheat. The rats will probably eat about half of it anyways, if it doesn't grow in time, that is. Although with fertilizer, I think we'll, we'll get a harvest here. We'll certainly see. Alright, looking good. Fertilizer. Start from the top here. want that kale to uh, grow faster. Alright. The fertilizer has been completed. So now of course we're going to water because we don't want to forget that. Alright, looking good. How about our pig friends down here? Let's get them fed. I see some desire for potatoes. Well, you got it. And the radish. And how about another potato here? Come on, piggy. Just accept it. Some things never change here, folks. Okay, that was way more painful that, than it needed to be. Wheat in the windmills, of course. I'm going to get all these pumped up full. Alright, that should boost the flower just a bit. Probably still won't be enough, but it's better than nothing. All right, cauliflowers for eggs. Let's make a nice little trade here with our chicken friends. And parsnips for eggs as well. All right, looking good there. Looking good. Cows hooking up the milk. And a few stray chickens here that desire carrots. Alright, looking good there. I'm gonna hold on to my kale. Sorry, cows, but I'm, I'm just gonna do it. Why? Because we need the kale more than we need the milk. That's for darn sure. So speaking of milk, let's administer the milk to the cheese machines here. Make a nice block of cheddar. I think it'd be cool in this game if you could make like a bunch of different types of cheeses, right? I think that's a... a a sensible kind of next step for this game. Maybe they can implement something like that in the Rebirth version. And obviously with different cheeses you can make different products, right? That'd be pretty cool. Lots of possibilities. Alright, furnaces. We'll take care of that in just a moment here. But what I want to focus on is the crafting. And the first thing we want to do is we want to get some truffle soup. 
Now, a commenter, a member of the community, Logan, you know who you are. Thank you so much, Logan. I do appreciate your support, my friend. So he mentioned that if we craft a truffle soup, right? So we craft a truffle soup and then we use it. It's going to give us bonus crafting, right? So we're going to craft more, right? So it will make our truffle soup crafting that much more effective. It'll make our kale go a little longer. As in we're getting four now instead of just two. Well, two when we're lucky, one when we're not lucky, right? So it does make sense, especially since we have like eight million truffles, right? So it does make sense to just sit here, hammer down some of this truffle soup, and then craft more truffle soup. Really helps us maximize, right? So we'll basically do that until the kale's gone. Great way to kind of max this out. Yeah, look at that. We're sitting on a bunch of truffle soup now. Great tip, Logan. Thanks, man. This works really well. So now we can just consume all this truffle soup. And enjoy the benefits of the truffle soup, which is, of course, you get double craft. So instead of making one pink donut, we make two. Instead of making one bowl of cheese soup, we make two. And if we get lucky with our trait here of, of the cook, of course, every food crafting have 50% for extra one, we can get real lucky. So that's how you build up these really powerful stacks. That's how we've been doing it, and that's how it works. So let's go ahead and get some cheese soup. What do you say? We have 280 units of cheese. And we have enough truffle soup in the belly to just maximize. So let's go. Let's see that number climb. It, it climbs more rapidly, obviously. Might actually get to 3,000, which is a pretty insane stack. 2,800. It's like 29, 2874, it looks like. With some truffle soup left over. Fried egg, here we go. I mean, we know the drill with this one. Nice thing about the fried egg is it doesn't cost glass. It doesn't cost kale, obviously. Right? So it's a product that is easy to make. You just feed your chicken and you get the egg. And it's also just a really solid secondary stream for us, for revenue. And then the donut, again, it takes two products that the other two products that we're making don't require. So we can build very powerful stacks of all three of these items. And they all sell pretty well, especially with the fatty upgrade that we have. So that's been our strategy all game long. And that's why I'm optimistic about this run taking us even farther than the minor run where... I think we closed out at around five and a half million. I'm projecting us going farther than that in this one. So the objective becomes quickly, how much money can we make? And that is, of course, what we're focusing on here. So let's let's kind of observe. Let's let's check it out. Let's get our furnaces handled first, and then let's check some pricing. Check the black market as well, of course. Let's get the glass in the furnace, or well, the sand, I should say, to turn it to glass. And then we're just keeping on keeping on here. We're going to keep on keeping on, is what I meant to say. And keeping on looks like cheese in a bowl. Slightly heated. <laughs> we are gouging the people that attend our restaurant, that is. Charging them $700 for a bowl of soup. All right, for the rest of this here, let's get some sugar. Can always toggle off of coal or uh, sorry, copper and iron in favor of more sugar. But again, we just need more flour. So it's a big balancing act here, right? What resources do we have? What do we need? How can we get more? How can we maximize? What are the opportunities? Of course, looks like we have a spot for another furnace right here. So let's build it. Why not? 
the question now is, it's often not why, it's more why not. Lovely. All right, let's check the black market here. Furnace Master, plus one furnace slots. Uh, yes, absolutely. You love to see that. In fact, can we get that like eight more times? So now we can backfill all of this with some more sugar. Should have checked that first, of course. But five open slots per furnace and, you know, you see how many furnaces we have. That's how you take a build to the sun here, folks. It's just how you do it. This game has many ways in which you can make cash. Many ways in which you can go nuclear as well. Can we get more furnaces in here? Strangely enough, you can build a furnace on the fence. I don't like that. Feels kind of glitchy. But either way, we're looking good here. The watering has been done. The furnace is full. Windmills are churning. We have the mining done. Seed makers with kale in them. Our hungry, uh, you know, cows that desire the kale are just going to have to hold off. We don't need the milk, really. All right, everything's looking good from a work front, so let's check some pricing. So, pricing, iron bar, not good. Diamond bar, pretty good. Gold bar, selling great, so let's sell the gold bar. Diamond bar, yeah, let's offload the diamond bar. Pink donut, selling great, 730 stack, let's go, it's $109,000. Cheese soup, selling low end. And fried eggs selling moderately high. Well, I would say high, but not high enough. It's nice to have the flexibility to kind of sell when, when you need to, right? So let's get our white beat kind of on the front page here. All right, looking good. I think we can safely end our turn right there. Everything's been checked. Yep, let's go ahead and end it. Going into Buried Treasure Day, which we will surely be securing. Especially with how much we dig, right? All right, day three dons. So let's blow up the fields and the furnaces, raining all kinds of things down, collecting in the neat little stacks, and let's get it all harvested up here. Let's get the fields dug. There's the buried treasure right there. And folks, we found it. And outbursts all kinds of rare ore and diamonds. Lovely stuff. Seeing lots of kale and lots of wheat in our fields here. Well, that's just what you like to see. Let's go ahead and get the kale planted. Even though I, I fear that the rats are going to really have a good time with, with this. Hopefully we can get it grown before the rats show up. We'll have to see. Four days. Yeah, so that's not going to happen. If we're vigilant with our fertilizer, though, perhaps it will. So I will be targeting the kale specifically here. Because it's the one thing holding us back from just going monstrous on the truffle suit, right? All right, looking good there. Have plenty of fertilizer left, so let's go with some white beets here. Probably some cauliflower too. I know that takes a while to grow. I'm sure the rats love cauliflower. Pumpkins as well. And then I guess just everywhere else. 
Don't need to be so methodical with this. At the end of the day, we're fertilizing our fields, right? Looks like we're able to get it all fertilized. Very nice. So let's get it all watered then. Let's be a good steward to our fields here. Want to build up that good soil, right? That rich soil. That's what it's all about. The soil directly affects the nutrients in your crops. Alright, cheese in the cheese press since we're, we're right here, we're staring at them. Let's get this going. Alright, looking good there. How about wheat in the windmills as well? Definitely want to check the flour to sugar ratio here. My assumption is it's a little closer. But probably not too much. Get some kale in the seed makers as well. Alright, looking good there. Alright, let's check it out. 462. Yeah. I mean, it's not... It's just... It's just not keeping up, simply put, right? That's alright, we didn't expect it to anyways. So let's go ahead and get the mining done. Stacking that coal. Let's go. Stack the coal so we can stack the cash. And it looks like we got toggled to gemstones yet again. I'm not sure how that keeps happening. If anybody knows, is that like a known bug? Or am I clicking it and I'm not aware? Or what's going on? I do know that like when you're on this menu here and you're doing stuff, right? It seems like it registers clicking on the on the game map, right? So maybe that's what's going on. Could be. Should probably just keep my screen away from this mining area after I'm done, you know, after I'm done here anyways. That's probably the solution. Or maybe it happens when we're doing this, right? That's most likely what's going on. I think I probably just solved my own riddle. Yep, just like that, right there. Let's check these. Go with gold there. Let's go with coal and stone. All right, looking good. All right, pigs. How we doing? You want some radishes, eh? Well, here you go. Pumpkins. Potatoes. Just madness. Nonsense. Let's go, pig. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. I, I give up. Doesn't appear like we're running out of truffles anytime soon anyways, so... I think I can leave a few truffles on the board this turn. Doesn't really matter.
definitely the one thing I avoid about using animals in this game is this phenomenon you are experiencing right here. The lack of acceptance of your offerings, right? I almost have, like, traumatic flashbacks to our animal run, right? My goodness, it took us, like, 30 minutes to feed all the animals that we had. We had, like, what, 300 of them? Mostly sheep. They were all mixed up in, in one big pen, and, yeah, it just didn't go good. Chanted crafts. Each time you craft an item, gain one energy. Yeah, we'll take that. And we have Apprentice. I'm good on that. For the shop, let's get some kale seeds, of course. After the rats come and wipe out our crop, we're going to have to get some more planted. All right, looking good there. Got some kale seeds. Let's get the furnaces situated here. And why don't we start by going with some sand? All right, looking good. Let's offload some stuff here. Sell some junk that we don't need, right? Do a little spring cleaning. So let's sell that um, for sugar. Let's see. 566 white beets. Yeah, all right. We can commit some of this to the furnace. Might as well get a nice stack of sugar. Not that we don't already have one, but... Let's make it bigger. Alright, looking good. Iron. You're next up, Iron. Let's go. Single diamond. Here's 93 units of gold. Very nice. And then we have copper. Top it off with some copper here. Looking good. Alright, looking good. Furnace is taken care of. We have... Well, we can move into the crafting phase now. So let's go ahead and, again, let's get a truffle soup, right? Just a singular truffle soup. Let's consume that said truffle soup. If I can find it. Of course. Okay, here it is. Consumed. And then let's craft some more truffle soup. Running low on kale here. Yep, that's going to be a constant thing, isn't it? But still, we come out with 55 units of truffle soup here. You get three double crafts per, so certainly take it. And let's, of course, start by crafting our power product, the cheese soup. Let's go. Let's get this above 3,000. We'll easily get above 3,000 here. Probably be looking at about 3,200. Maybe a little bit more. But it's amazing. We're going to get two stacks above 3,000, which is pretty crazy. Fried egg, you are the next up here. And there we go. Two stacks above 3,000 here, folks.
All right, lovely. Looks like I missed a few eggs over here. Missed some milk as well. All right, looking good. So the crafting has been completed. We have run through the shop for all of their kale seeds, right? Just hustle them. So now we're good to look at some pricing. So let's see. Fried egg, 122. Not good. Cheese soup, 700. Okay, here we go. So now we get to make the biggest sale I've probably ever made. Yeah. The biggest sale I've ever made. Coming right at you. Let's go. <laughs> $2.304 million there, folks, in one singular sale. And frankly, it's just a block of Velveeta <laughs> microwave for two and a half minutes. That's all it is. But we are gouging our customers here at $700 a pop. And you love to see it. It made us rich. We can retire now, but... My goodness, we got another week of work here. Yeah, so I think we're go going to, uh, we might get 10 million, maybe. It's hard to exactly project where we're going to be. But the potential is certainly there, right? Let me know in the comments, how much you think we're going to end this entire run on? What will our final bankroll be? Let me know. Let me know what you're thinking. I don't think 10 million is inconceivable. I really don't. I really don't. I think 10 million is completely feasible. We just made 2.3 in one sale there. So we're looking good. Tomorrow we have a tough touch here. So mining will obviously cost a little more, but... We're looking real good, and we're feeling real good. So let's end it there. All right, day four dons. Looks like we have some wheat and some white beet, some cauliflower. So let's grab it. You bet. Let's grab the furnace. Get that nice cheese there. You bet. In fact, a pretty huge crop harvest there. 134 units of kale. Okay. It just feels weird not having a giant stack of cheese soup. It feels a little strange. I'm not going to lie. So let's start building it back up again. What do you say? Get our fields all dug up here, though. Secure some sand. Let's maximize kale as much as possible. Probably fill the rest up with wheat. We have a ton of kale seeds, actually. All right, so, uh, yeah. So this one's going to be a really sizable kale harvest, for sure. So let's get it all fertilized up here. Keep toggling past my fertilizer. All right. All right, fertilizer, do your thing. Grow this kale. 
I mean, the rat plague is going to come. It's going to hurt, of course. But what do you do? I suppose I could have focused my fertilizer on the, the plants that have already budded, right? The stuff we planted last turn or a few turns ago, right? Could have certainly done that, but that's okay. I'm really not too worried about it. I'd say it's more of an annoyance than, than anything. Let's get our milk in the cheese press here. It's only the key. Give me that Velveeta. Let's go. Wheat in the windmills as well. Kale in the seed machines. Just pay it on forward. Let's go. All right. Windmills taken care of. I'm going to check the shop here real quick. Let's get some coal. Let's look for some kale seeds. Not seeing it. Here's some kale seeds. Lovely. That is one thing, like once you have a bunch of stuff unlocked, right? You tend to not get exactly what you're looking for. Because there's more variety to be offered, right? Something to consider for sure. Alright, looking good. Black markets, power boost, falling fruit. We're good on that. Pickaxe. Let's just target the coal here. Some gold, some copper. I'm going to turn a few of those back to, to coal. Alright, looking good. Let's go ahead and tear this land up. And you guessed it, folks. Shia LaBeouf. Let's go. That'd be cool, like in real life. You can tell a mine what you wanna what you want it to produce for you, right? That would be pretty cool. But it doesn't work that way. But give me a gold mine all day, right? I'd even take it over a diamond mine. Alright, pigs and potatoes. Let's go. I think the stones in here are kind of, uh, the stones in here are making it a little more difficult to feed our pigs, I think. Plus, there's some coal in there, too. Alright, looks good. And on upward to our second fence here, let's get our chickens fed. Got the cows, got some more chickens here, cauliflowers, come and get it. Bon appetit.
All right, looks like there's a radish hiding right there. Another cauliflower hiding right here as well. I appear to have got them all. Of course, we'll see. All right, so what are we looking at here, folks? Everything's watered up. Good to go. Let's sell the junk. All right, looking good. 924 units of flour now. That's very nice. So let's definitely make some sugar this turn for sure. First priority is, of course, the glass. So it'll be glass and sugar this round. All right, looking good there. Now let's make a ton of sugar here. All right, that looks good. All right, looking good there. Very nice. Okay, so now we can move into the, the crafting phase. Actually, somehow I have, Never mind. I thought a windmill cost 30 wood. It does not cost 50. So cancel that notion. Anyways, so now we can look at crafting. So what do we want to craft exactly? Well, we want to start with the truffle soup. And then we eat the truffle soup, right? And then we craft some more truffle soup with the truffle soup buff, right? And then craft some more truffle soup. Alright, lovely. 156 units of truffle soup to enjoy here. This is going to go far. In fact, I got to get a rain check on our truffle supply. But yeah, unfortunately, you have to fast click this here, folks. There's no, uh, you can't just hold down the button and continuously use the item, unfortunately. Yeah, 788 truffles. I mean, we're not even putting a dent in our supply. Very good. Very sustainable. You love to see that. All right, so the first item we're crafting here is, of course, the famed cheese soup. So let's go. Start building up that stack again. I mean, we have, what, some 500 units of cheese to microwave in a bowl and charge $700 for? Making Gordon Ramsay proud, right? Anybody else a fan of Gordon Ramsay? I certainly am. I think he's uh, he's an interesting guy, for sure. Don't know that I would necessarily want him uh, running my kitchen. Well, maybe I would, I guess, if he was working for me, right? But I don't think I would want to work in a kitchen alongside him. Though he appears to be quite effective at what he does. I must admit that. But yeah. Huge fan of Gordon Ramsay. I find him very, very entertaining as a viewer, right? So we're making him proud here with this one, folks. Although he would probably say our donuts suck, our eggs suck, and our cheese soup just is tasteless and needs more salt or something. It's not seasoned. Or he'd probably say, 
Well, you just microwave cheese in a bowl and served it to me. Now I'm nauseous, right? <laughs> what do you think Gordon Ramsay would say? Let me know in the comments. So let's get all these fine consumables crafted up here. Build in some more power stacks. Really looking forward to the day we can sell this stack, this crazy stack of fried eggs here. Uh, first and foremost, though, we have a new 800 stack of cheese soup, which is just lovely. Let's check some pricing. Fried eggs. Selling good. All right. So that day has come. Someday it came suddenly, for sure. Same with the donut. Cheese soup, not selling great. Gold bar, diamond bar, iron bar, copper bar. Sell the copper bar. And let's sell the fried egg here. Drum roll, please. Let's do it. What is that? $700,000 in <laughs> fried eggs. Over easy. Looking good. And the fried, or not the fried donut. Well, I guess the donut is fried, but the donut. That's another 115k. So once again, I will ask the question, how much do you think we can make? What do you think the final bankroll is going to be once the series wraps up? Let me know in the comments. By the way, all of our furnaces are humming. The fields are watered. Cheese machines are operational. Most of the animals fed. Sorry, cows. Pigs fed. The mines have been mined. Got some kale seeds coming. Some wheat turning into flour. And we are looking good here, folks. Let's end the turn into a rainy day. And you can hear the ambiance of the rain. It's it's a nice little touch, I must admit. So let's get some kale. Looks like we have a little bit of a harvest here. In fact, I really like the ambiance of the rain. It's really convincing, you know? It really feels like it's raining. And interestingly enough, it's raining outside where I'm at right now at the time of recording this. So there's some synergy there as well. Who would have thought? The storm kind of came out of nowhere, too. Alright, so everything is already watered, of course. Impossible for me to miss watering this particular turn. So let's get our seeds planted. Obviously, kale is the selection here. Being the thing that's holding us back from that truffle soup. Although, if we go too heavy on the kale, then it's going to be the glass that holds us back. So, you can't have it both ways, I suppose. Like I've mentioned before, it's it's all about just balancing. It's, it's a big balancing act here, this particular build. But, whatever we choose to do, it's mostly pretty darn e effective, right? It just is. All right, so we're looking good here. Let's sell. Let's get the mining done quickly while we're here. Coal. Got a lot of stone creeping in here. Where's our coal supply at anyways? 2,000. Still pretty good. I think what we can do is maybe take one turn and just get all this basic stone mined out. Don't think we have to do that quite yet, but once coal gets a little more dire, right, then we'll certainly... Certainly take a look at that. All right. Let's dig, dig, dig. Looking for some sand.
All right, looking good. Let's sell it. Sand goes directly into the furnace, of course, as usual. So let's get it on in there. All right, looking good. Sell the grass. Let's get the wheat in the windmills here. Kale in the seeds. Wheat in the windmills. Looking good. Going clockwise with it this time. Perfect. Uh, pig friends here. Hooking me up with some truffles. And the pumpkin. Here you go. Got a bit more coal here, so let's mine this out. And our chicken friends and some of our cows. go chicken cow chicken I mean sometimes you can dangle a carrot in front of them and they just they won't accept it wild stuff here folks madness One remaining parsnip there. Okay, looking good. How about the cheese press? How are you looking, cheese press? Cheese press is looking good here. Nice and full. Nice and full looking. Alright, lovely. Alright, let's check the shop. Kale seeds, of course take those in fact it feels like we're doing pretty good on kale seeds now but certainly roll and grab a few more no harm in that black market collector for each item sold you receive one dollar yeah we'll go with that sure thing you sell a stack at three thousand you get Bonus $3,000. Although, admittedly, at 25k to buy that perk, it certainly takes a while for it to pay off, right? Alright, so we have the glass and the furnace here. What's the sugar to flour ratio looking like? Did we get like double production last round with the flour? It's really hard to say. I feel like it shouldn't vary. But it does sometimes. I don't know. Hard to say. Let's get some gold going. And why not some iron? Copper as well. Might as well. Definitely not hurting on sugar at all. But that's okay. Here we go. Alright, the furnaces are taken care of here.
All right, lovely. I see a cow and I gotcha. Here's a radish. All right, let's start the crafting process here. So 76 units of kale. So let's eat the kale soup. Actually, I can just... I can consume it all right now. Yeah, there's still redundancy in there, no matter what you do. Alright, looking good. Let's get some cheese soup a roll in here. Bust out the microwave. Call Gordon Ramsay. Let's go. So, I mean, as quick as ever, right? We have another power stack of cheese soup coming in. 1,246 units already. Let's build another power stack of this fried egg here. What do you say? It is amazing how this game... Like, there's just so many ways to really boost your build in, in this game. And, like, there's, what am I trying to say? Like, there's not a million different options for products, right? There really isn't. There's, like, three total pages of products. One of which is tools, right? But yet, somehow, there's ways to kind of buff up and accentuate, like, it, it, Buff up and accentuate however you want to play this game, right? If you want to go with the cook, there's ways to buff that up. If you want to go with the miner, there's ways to buff that up. If you want to be a fisherman, be a fisherman. There's ways to buff that up. It's really quite interesting. I mean, it's simple, but it's interesting. It's one of the enjoyable parts about this game, for sure. So I got to show appreciation where appreciation is due, I must admit. All right, so what are we looking at here? Windmills are good. Everything's mined out that we intended to mine. We have the cheese machines full. The cows are getting hungry for kale, but we need it for other things. Black market has been checked. The shop has been checked. I think we're good to end our turn here into the terrifying rat plague. So let's see the impact this has. My guess is they're going to get full bellies of kale. So let's go. And look at these vermin here, folks. Look at these vermin, you vile rats. Get out of here. Scram. Get out of here. Get off my kale plants, you jerks. My goodness. Yeah, get out of here. Yeah, they certainly did some damage, my goodness. Yeah, I see you. Get out of here. 190 rat fur? My goodness. I guess that's what happens. Uh, 20 coal for some rat fur? Sure, pal. Anybody else want some rat fur? Or a rat tail? No, because I'm, I'm just going to sell it. So I probably had like, what? four or 500 kale down there. Netted 162. Yikes. Well, let's get to work uh, replanting it, I suppose. It's just no stopping the rat plague.
But luckily, we've been banking some kale seeds, so put those to use right now and grow another crop of kale. All right, Kale, let's go. Not sure if you can hear that siren in the background or not. I don't think it's quite loud enough, but, you know, sirens are pretty loud. If you can, my apologies for that. Must be something going on. I hope everybody is okay. All right, let's replant the kale that has been sacrificed to the rat gods, I guess. My goodness. Although we're going to get kale back in a big way here. In just, what, four turns? Maybe a little sooner? Depending on the performance of our fertilizer, right? Try to get the new crop all fertilized up here so we can get it just a bit quicker. Alright, 44. Let's just fill in the rest here. Alright, looking good. Let's get it watered up here. Let's be a good steward of the land, of course. All right, lovely. Milk, you're up next. All right. Wheat. You're up next. How are we looking for wheat? Let's go kale, kale. And let's take a look. Why don't we just take a look at the black market right away. Potions enjoy or cow man. Maximum number of animals plus 30. For 7.5. Okay, that's it. My goodness. I mean, I'm not going to do it, but that one's busted for sure. I mean, that's absolutely busted. 30 more animals. I mean, yeah, you have to buy them. You have to feed them. But the the earning potential out of 30 plus animals is crazy. Like wacky. For 7 grand, I mean, you'll make that back with 10 animals. You know? Maybe even less. So yeah, that's definitely one to get. Especially if you're doing an animal run. Right? I think animals in a lot of ways are just completely busted in this game, for sure. I mean, just look at all the products you can make from animal products, you know? And we have a very focused build here on, you know, three specific products, of course, but... I mean, we're not even really... Realizing that the full potential of Like like we're, we're not interacting with sheep at all, right? 
mean, if you really had to focus, we could add sheep to this build. The loom is very small, so you could just make a bunch of looms as well. And start incorporating, you know, cloth hats and shirts and warm woolies and the things of the like. And then have a third or fourth just power stack item that you could get to, I don't know what, $20 million with? That might be a little ambitious, but you know what I mean. The great benefit we have here, folks, is obviously the ability to sell high, right? It's kind of the name of the game, obviously, but it's having a bunch of different products that we can strategically sell when we need to. So that's the, the success we're realizing here. We're not all in on one, right? We don't have all of our eggs in one proverbial basket, right? Different revenue streams. Just makes sense. And furthermore, different revenue streams that require different materials to make the end, end product of, right? So that's definitely kind of the, the name of the game. You don't necessarily want to focus on just one thing. Focus on several. Wasn't entirely sure how this run would go, but it became pretty apparent to me after like the third week, fourth week maybe, that this was going to be a strong, strong build for sure. Didn't quite anticipate this strong, but we should blow our record out of the water. I don't see how we couldn't, right? Like I said, I think my previous record's like five and a half mil. And that was just the last run that we did. The minor run. If you're interested, check that one out. That was a fun run. Lots of mining, of course. We made some bars. We made some jewelry. Got to use the little minor perk. You know, to kill sandwiches with us wherever we went, of course. And just... Rocked and rolled, for sure. Alright, what am I looking for? I'm looking for some sugar. Some sugar beets. Let's go. All right, looking good. Chicken. How dare I forget you. Gotta stop hiding. All right, everything is watered up. The mining is done. The seed makers are full. The windmills are populated. The furnace is populated. So let's go ahead and begin the crafting endeavor for the turn here. Got 152 units of kale that managed to survive the rat swarm. Those dirty scoundrels. So let's get some truffle soup, of course. I mean, you saw this coming, right? <laughs> Should probably see it coming by now anyways. Alright, let's just use it. They definitely need a use all button or the ability to hold it down. They definitely need that. Alright, more truffle soup, you bet. Use the rest of the kale, as usual. Alright, 150 units of truffle soup, my goodness. Alright, let's go, let's rapid click this. So what I'm doing here, folks, is I'm using two hands. Holding the mouse down firmly with my left hand and pressing quickly with my right. Perhaps you can hear it. There we go. 600 some uses of truffle soup. Just beautiful. Now, 
Let's turn that into cheese soup. Let's get this beast back up to like, what, 2,000? Can we scratch 2,500 on this turn? We saw what, what, 3,200 sells for at high end? 2.04 mil, right? So we're looking at 1. Point, this is 1.2 million about. So just wild stuff. Fried eggs, you bet. You're, you're next up. Let's get this stack to seven, eight, nine hundred. Might actually have some truffle soup left over. That would be a first. And donuts. Let's build you to the sky. Let's build a donut castle. Yeah, we're going to have some truffle soup left over, which is ideal, right? It's exactly what you want. So, Logan, you are a genius. You just are. All right. I think we're squared away pretty much with everything here. So let's take a look at some pricing. Cheese soup. We can wait on that. Donut, wait. Fried egg, wait. Gold bar, sell. Iron bar can wait. Diamond bar, let's wait on that as well. 746 truffles remain. I mean, there's just no slowing us down. We cannot be stopped. So let's end our turn there. Let's end the week there and get into the final day of this video. All right, day seven dons here. Got a little bit of cash that fell out the, the bottom, right? But we're doing all right. Looks like we have some more kale coming. Bunch of glass I saw as well, which is great. 2,500 units of glass, lovely. 280 units of kale, also lovely. It's going to go very, very well. So you're kind of seeing how this is going. You're kind of seeing how the, the sequence of it all is going to be. There's a few things I can do to kind of try to maximize a little bit more, but... That cheese soup is just bonkers. So what I want to know, again, is how much do you think we will end with? What will our final bankroll be, right? You see how quickly we are accumulating very, very large stacks, right? You think we're going to hit 10 million? 15 million? Are we being too ambitious? Am I actually going to lose this? Nah, definitely not. There's no way we actually lose. Uh, nah, I'm just joking. There's no way we actually lose. It's just not going to happen. So, how much do we win by, I guess, is my question. And I genuinely want your thoughts. Let me know. I'm guessing... I'll guess 10 million. That's my official guess. 10 mil. Let me know if I'm off. Let me know if I'm on. All right, windmill's good to go. Let's get some mining done here real quick. Just get this coal out of here and I suppose this is what happens when you just let the rocks go, right? They kind of take over. <laughs> I guess we'll call this the creeping effect or something. Probably have to do something about that in week eight here. Either that or we just let it go. We say we're not worried about coal. Just let it go. We're good. I'm not really worried about coal, if I'm being honest with you. Although that's famous last words for sure. But I mean, truthfully, if we really wanted to max this out, you'd add... 
You know, a hundred more chickens. And then painstakingly feed them every single turn. Just boost your, your fried egg production to the moon. And then have a nice little, you know, two, three, four, five million dollar sale once a week or so. At least when, when the price is right. Making Bob Barker and Shia LaBeouf, by the way. Proud in this episode here, folks. We just are. In fact, that might be <laughs> the title of this video. We'll see. I obviously want, uh, you know, people to be interested and in, in to click on the video, but that title uh, certainly humors me. So we'll see. I, I guess you will see what, what I chose to go with when the video drops. Grab some eggs, you bet. Looks like all the cows went uh, kale, right? I just don't really need the milk. Alright, fine. You're making me sad. I'll feed you cows, I know. What kind of mean farm hand am I? I mean, frankly, we kind of needed to do that just to clear the space to see what the other animals want, right? In doing so, we revealed that a chicken was hungry for a cauliflower. All right, let's get the milk press populated up here. All right, looking good. The milk press, I mean cheese press, of course. All right, let's get it watered because it clearly is not watered. Next turn, I'll be like, gee, I wonder why my kale didn't grow. Well, you got the water. Get a little fertilizer action going on here, you bet. Gonna have lots and lots and lots of kale here, folks. Alright, check the shop here quick. Minor Axe Black Friday. Black market price is minus 15%. Sure. Buy some coal. I think we're good on the shop. Don't really need to re-roll it. So let's get into the crafting phase of our operation. And what are we going to do first? Well, you guessed it. Truffle soup. It's the key... The key to it all, and we are going to have so much truffle soup this particular turn that we might actually be running low on truffles after all this is said and done. Which is something I'd never thought possible. 514, nah, never mind. We're still sitting real strong on truffles. Got a little double sale there. I think it was my stack of gold. That's completely fine. Uh, truffle soup, okay. So truffle soup looking good. So now we have to use 340 truffle soup. All right, just real quick, I'm gonna give myself carpal tunnel here. Super fast click. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, they need a consume all button for sure. If you're a developer of another farm roguelike, 
and you're either looking to update this current game or you're looking for inspiration or ideas or tips for another farm roguelike rebirth here's a big one for you consume all just make it maybe you like left click and then right click or something just do it please thank you all right so now we're good in fact while we're at it might as well eat a few donuts to get that back up there all right looking good all right, so we have pretty much an infinite supply of truffle soup now. So let's make some cheese soup with the truffle soup. We're just all about the soup. Get out the microwave. Call Gordon Ramsay. Let's go. And this stack is going to be mighty. In fact, if we get a few days of doing just this before the cheese soup has the correct price to sell it at I mean you might be looking at 5,000 units of cheese soup I mean that's just wacky twenty five hundred we're already back up to 2500 after what was that like three turns two three turns just crazy This build just works. It just works well. It's nice and synergized. I'd almost go as far as to say probably the most synergized build that I've done in this game, right? Where things just kind of work. And I've already kind of explained in depth that you know, having three different power products that all take different products to make. Super useful. Definitely the key. So if you can diversify and stay afloat, I mean, it's obviously what you want to do. We're going to have, what, 400 uses of the truffle soup left over? I mean, yeah. It just went bonkers. It just got crazy. So I've got Logan to thank for just calling that out. Like, hey man, use the truffle soup. And then keep crafting the truffle soup. And then keep using the truffle soup as you're crafting the truffle soup to get more truffle soup. It's pretty crazy, but it works. Especially with our cook profession. So anyways, that is looking good. Let's get our furnaces solved here, and let's land this plane. What do you say? In fact, I don't... It doesn't seem like we have too much sand. That must have been the stack that, that I sold there. Yeah, it must have been the sand. Thought it was the gold. I don't think we had a stack of gold. It was the sand. That's okay. Wouldn't be the first time I've, uh, you know clicked something I didn't intend to click. I've noticed that sometimes in this game that, that does happen, so be careful. When you're selling the, uh, the right click, right? Just be careful. Do we have anything else that needs to go into this furnace here? Not seeing it. So let's check some pricing, of course. Alright, cheese soup. 630 good I I kind of low-key want to build the stack up to like 5,000 <laughs> so I'm, I'm glad we're not selling that donut for 149 149 yeah gotta make that sale so that is 2.38 or 238,000 sorry it was off by an entire zero there iron bar nope diamond bar sure Perfect. All right. I think all the work is done. I think we're good to go. I think we're good to end this week. So let's go ahead and do so. This episode is already running on too long here. So let's go. So the end of week seven 
is here. And week eight dawns. Day one, let's take a little peek at what we have coming up. So we have demolition in effect here, which means destroying a resource gives $20. Okay. Might be a good opportunity to mine all this crap out. We have upgrade day. We have forager. We have anti-forager. That's kind of funny. Handyman plus $15 for crafting an item. Are you kidding me? Yeah, we're all over that, obviously. It's be a great little great little way to put an exclamation point on this overall run here. Anti-forager again. And then payment day where we owe 615k. So that is kind of what we're looking at here, folks. And I think what I'm going to do is, of course, end the video here. We are past the 1 hour and 40 minute mark, which is insane. So I'm going to end the video here. Um, however, I do want to thank you for your viewership. I really do appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up if you're liking this playthrough series. We have week 8 as, you know, the next and final week in this playthrough. So let's see how we do. Let's see how much money we make. Um, again, let me know. Like, let me know where you think we're going to end up here. Is 12 million too ambitious? Is 10 million too ambitious? Maybe. Maybe not. You'll have to tune in to find out. So with that said, folks, I'm getting on out of here. If you are not subscribed, please consider becoming a subscriber. Especially if you're still here at the 1 hour 40 minute mark. Love to have you in the community. And thank you so much, folks. I'll be catching you in the next video. Thanks a lot.